Hello, my name is Paulo Roque. I'm a systems applications engineer with analog devices, working on the energy storage systems team. And I'm excited to talk to you today about my demo on lithium ion battery energy storage systems. As the world shifts away from uh, using fossil fuels, a need arises for using uh, other sources of uh, energy. And for use of little lithium ion batteries, you need to develop uh, uh, system solutions that will, will uh, effectively measure the battery. Um, and uh, with these solutions then uh, coming out and becoming mainstream, Analog is focused on, on addressing those needs by developing those uh, energy uh, storage systems for uh, industrial applications and, uh, and those, those specific uh, and, and those markets. I see three key challenges here. First, it's a new technology, so there are many challenges associated with the deployment, the manufacturing, the scalability of the solutions. Uh, secondly, there is uh, safety uh, as well. So as the system uh, becomes more and more powerful and the density in batteries increases, uh, the need for safety uh, gets uh, more and more significant. And thirdly, I see a challenge there regarding the long term uh, stability of, of the systems and which uh, also need to be uh, well uh, addressed and developed uh, right now. ADI is developing system level solutions for the energy storage market. Part of that solution is the BMS controller. The BMS controller is a, is a board or a platform we've developed that works with uh, our BMS uh, chips and uh, or with our BMS uh, analog front ends and is able to communicate with them in an isolated fashion. So it implements full communication, full isolation, uh, and does enable a safe system. And, uh, and we also implement the software and we supply demo uh, graphical user interfaces that customers can use for quick deployments in their systems, thus enabling them to go faster to the market. Here what we have is a battery management controller board, and in this board we integrate a, a legacy Maxim microcontroller named the Max 32626, located here. And with that, with that microcontroller we communicate with the analog front-end boards uh, in an isolated fashion using the ISO SPI chips, LTC 6820 produced by analog that you see there beside that blinking light. And uh, that is connected to the uh, analog front ends through an isolation battery here through a transformer. We have this board fully isolated from the high voltage side. And we have here analog front ends that analog develops, especially the AD and BMS 1818, which is an industrial solution uh, for our BMS uh, chips. Through battery emulators, we're able to simulate the voltages on the analog front ends. And as we turn the knob on our battery emulator, you can watch the voltages stay changing on our graphs called user interface. The, our solution uh, allows ease of implementation for the customer. They can base their uh, system on our system or, or use our system. Uh, it allows also for a higher accuracy. Our system has got higher accuracy because it's able to communicate with uh, analogs, BMS parts, which are high accuracy. It's also a system that enables scalability, ease scalability. The system can be easily connected to multiple analog front ends and also enable safety through isolation and uh, taking care of uh, the safety as well, promoting the isolation, which is a key uh, parameter for um, ESS systems. In Analog, we are committed to uh, a sustainable future. Through that, our plan is to contribute to the decarbonization of the energy grids, and that will play a significant role in achieving our goals towards the, uh, a much greener world. If you'd like to know more about our system level solutions and the things we have been developing, please visit our website at analog.com.